Hey, hey, all you mechanical maniacs, Sir Squazar here. Welcome back to another episode of Barn Bargains and Other Cheap Challenges. So we have left off with our Plymouth, uh, our Plymouth GTX here, our standard Roadrunner. Um, what we are doing with her is bringing her back to its classic self. So what we are doing is with cars like this, we find them, we bring them in here, and we use restore them to their classic um classic condition we find them in the barns and sometimes their the mileage is really really bad um i did find this and look at the the um, mileage on that and this is like my project car over here so we're not going to really do anything with it today um let me tell i've got some body parts done to it i don't have enough i done to it right now but uh, i will be working on that eventually maybe doing just maybe I don't know maybe do like a time lapse on this i think we'll probably do a time lapse on this maybe in the next episode but this episode i want to concentrate on our our plymouth roadrunner here so how are you guys doing i hope this video is finding you all happy and healthy i know you dodge boys out there are loving this episode right i've got so much going on we've been able to take care of the underneath here i believe and we've got brand new tires on it. So the front end, the front end was going to be a massive undertaking for us because we had to go out and find some parts. And I believe I did. Um, I say I believe I did just only because I've been in and out of this game so often or so much. I was doing, like trying to play around with some config files and everything else. And just, I don't know. I just, I've been goofing around with it way too much. And I've kind of lost track of what I should be doing. Um, but yeah. Uh, hopefully we'll get this and we will figure it out so those of you that like to mod games the uh, qol mod is up to um the next update is out the 3.0 update is out and that's what we're running today is the 3.0 update uh, i will try to do my best to tell you uh, what is modded and what is not as we go through this episode because I know, you know, people, if they're if they're getting this game and they're looking at it, and they go, oh, I can do all this kind of cool crap with it. Eh, not always, right? So try to, if it comes down to um, what you can and can't do in it uh, for the regular game, I will try to t let you know about that, right? So if it's a, it's a, if it becomes a QOL mod, I will let you know. But for the most part, if we're running these, these classics, uh, I'm going to run this classic uh, into uh, back to its uh, restored state and then sell it. That's basically what we're doing with these. Let's restore them and we sell them. We s hopefully sell them for a profit. And that's part of it too that if we've been going through this uh, together. I've been trying to help you out with some tips and tricks to gain a little cash along the way. That way when you do get, when you do come across that that Dodge Charger that you want to buy and it has less, you know, less than 150,000 miles on it that you can buy it and you can restore it without breaking a bank, right? So when you find a beauty like that under 150,000 miles, you've got to grab it, right? All right. So if you're wondering what the classics, uh, the, uh, the custom classics, what we're doing, we're trying to take in all the parts and we're going to repair them. Um, if they if they are repairable any part that's not repairable what we end up doing is buying no, and I mean when I mean not repairable I mean the game will not let you it's not a repairable item period now we do have items in the game that if they're less than 12% they are unrepairable so um, those aren't the parts we're talking about we're talking parts like rubber bushings there's, you know, no matter what the, no matter what the condition, you can't repair them. So those would have to be purchased brand new. So like all these parts right here, um, like 17%, right? We brought it back from the dead. 52%, boom, done. Now we're going to take a look to see what we have in our, our let's see, sort name. Okay, so we got some front end suspension pieces, good. Uh, brake pieces are not. Okay, so you see these check marks, right? 
these check marks tell you that yes you have it in your storeroom but if you get your storeroom set up then yeah you can get it so you do have um see like okay brake pads no matter what you do you're not going to um you're not going to repair those you're going to have to replace those um luckily we've been able to get the um this brake station this lathe if you will to turn down our brake rotors which is a beautiful beautiful thing this is something that should have been in 2018 to be honest with you um but i love this I, I, I've, I've said it in several videos this is probably one of my favorite machines right here it's a silly brake lathe all right we'll get those cleaned up and get those done um so what else can we do here uh brake caliper okay it's 12 percent. it's done we need to get a new one it's telling me i have one over here let's open this up and i did have some roadrunner parts that i know were roadrunner specific right i'm gonna go ahead and grab those that i knew that i was gonna need um uh, and yes i did go out and i found all kinds of stuff let's go uh, uh, sort by name okay we need a caliper okay so we're gonna have to do, let me grab this brake over here uh, repairable parts the framework was was my main concern I was able to find another Roadrunner um, that was in really bad shape except for some of the framework and some of the brake pieces and I turned around and sold it after I stripped it of parts and that's where I was getting most of my parts um, so. I can't repair it. I'm going to sell it. So get that out of the way. Uh, okay, so brake pads, right? So we're going to have to go get some brake pads. Car parts, brakes, pads, times two. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Um, go back to my inventory. Let's go ahead and sell our brake pads. Um, anything you do with the shock absorbers, even if you took them about, there's nothing repairable with these. So I really don't know, understand why it's even a thing, right? Uh, let's see. We'll get rid of that cross member because it's done. Front sway bar B. That's another item that um, can't can't get. So front sway bar B. Oh wait, wait a minute. What happened to it? Okay. What did I do? Okay. Okay. Guess I do. Okay. Duh. All right. I did it all wrong. I did it all stupid. There we go. Front sway bar. Okay. We buy that new, right? So we got a brand new sway bar there. We'll go ahead and, um, yes, we'll sell that for a little bit of credit. Uh, shock absorber. So let's go ahead and go into. There we go. We have to buy these. So we got two of those, uh, two springs and two clips no matter what you can't we can't repair any of that no matter what the condition is which is kind of uh, you know i think we'd you know try to at least do the app have have that be a repairable piece i think that would be i think that would be all right right i don't see why not um anyway let's get back to business here let's go ahead and get rid of that go ahead and get rid of that um, oh, I'm needing a couple of items. I do have that, and I do have that back there in the back. So that's cool. Rubber bushings. All right, our rubber bushings, we are going to need uh, 12 of these bad boys. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Pick up 12 of these bushings. No. Um, inner and outer tie rods. That's right. Inner and outer tie rods. That's those... No matter what, you can't repair those. We got those done. All right. Well, now let's clear up our area here. Tie rod. Tie rod. Outer rod. Outer rod. Uh, bushing. So we just... I was collecting a lot of bushings and putting them in the storeroom. I, I'm not going to do anymore. This, these are, this is kind of crazy. Uh... 
Okay, so I'm going to need bearings, caps, and wings. So we're going to need that, that, and that to each. Thank you very much. So front end, two of those. Go cap, two of those, and go bearing, two of these. Now you've noticed this is part of the, the QOL mod. Once you get rid of, once you buy the piece that you need, it disappears. So, you know, wheel hub. Okay, I will. Um, this is what I want. Got it. Select two. Boom. Go back to the shopping list. It's gone, right? So that's part of the QOL mod. But don't expect that in the regular game. Go ahead and sell off all the pieces we don't need here. Make everything nice and green. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, we need knuckle C and a knuckle cover. Uh, where am I at? Front knuckle C. Front knuckle C. Okay. And a cover. Rear. There we go. Okay, so we've got those. All right, let's go ahead and repair these bad boys up. Didn't need the drive axle. That was a mistake. I'm going to throw that back in there. Okay, drive axle. I don't know how I picked that up, but that's going back in. Uh, suspension and brakes. Go ahead and boop. Get rid of that. All right. Uh, let's separate this tire. Yeah. I think I put brand new tires on. I just had to put this bad rim back on because I had nothing. I didn't have anything for it. So this bad rim's got to come off. Let's go ahead and mount it up with the good rim. Yep, there we go. While we're there, let's go ahead and sell off that. Sell off that. Where's that rim at? Where's that crappy rim? There we go. That's out of here. All right. Mounted and now we balance. There we go. And done. Done, done, and done. So it looks like our front end has been completely reassembled. I'm looking. I've got pieces underneath the hood that I'm going to have to find. Don't know if I have them in the storeroom or not. We'll get there. All the stuff underneath the hood. I don't know if I have it or not. Um, some of the stuff you can't repair, like the like the reservoirs. Can't repair those, so it'll be a thing. Sure. Figure it out when we get there, I guess. We'll pull the engine out. Uh pushing. Pushing. Go with this, that, and that. Everything else? Okay, we're good. Freshly turned brake rotor. Check. Brand new pads. Yep. New brake cylinder. And wheel. There we go. While I'm thinking about it, I'm disconnecting this uh, exhaust pipe. Can't, it, oh, it's not going to let me. Okay, hang on. I think I need to disconnect these exhaust pipes and disconnect that drive shaft. Reason being is I'm going to be pulling this engine out. I think these this section needs to be taken out. Take the transmission out. Car needs a starter, so yeah, we're gonna have to buy a starter. For it. All right. And some of these cars I've been taking parts off of. I'm gonna have to scout. I'm gonna have to scrape a little bit harder next time I get them because I'm going through some pieces on these cars, man. And it's, I'm talking some of the common pieces like the the brake cylinders and stuff. I'm going through a lot of parts.
Evet. I seem to have more bushings than I should have here. I get 14 instead of 12, or what did I do here? Cap on. Yeah, and done. All right. Let's go over here and make sure we've got all the pushings. Pushing there and there. Yep, yep, yep. We're, we're good. We're good. We got... Oh, these are the bad bushings, so we sell those off. Alright, so this is good. The transmission will be repairable, but the exhaust pipes will not. Okay, transmission has been repaired. Um, we might as well just go ahead and dump off these two, two exhaust section pieces. Oh, man. You know, I should have put those in the storeroom because I don't have many of those. Uh, done, done, and done, I think. Another thing I haven't done on here is all the body parts. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and knock out that while we have it. Windshield. Knock out all these body parts. I think I played around with the trunk and stuff just to see what we had. Uh, rear clamshell. Yep. I think I got those done. Yeah, those are done. So let's let's put those back. There we go. Uh, and rear window. Okay, anything else? All right, let's go ahead and repair the body parts. Get these bad boys cleaned up and set up. Nice. These weren't in too bad a shape, so I knew that all this was going to come around really well. I have to buy all new glass for it, of course. Okay. So all the body parts are done. Um, while I have it open, what about the interior? Okay, so... So, leather seat D, leather seat. These seats are in really, actually, in really good shape, but let's send them out for. Okay, let's see. First of all, we need plates. They're California plates, so we're going to go find a California plates. Boom, 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 boom. Where are we? California. Oh, my. I am losing my flipping mind. There it is. Jeez. Actually. All right. There we go. We've bought two of those, right? So, um, get rid of those. We need all glass. We need one, two, three, four. Five feet seat steering wheel. Right? Right. Right. Fresh imports. I got to find the Roadrunner. I open my shopping list. I need that. 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 And this. Anything else? Yeah, need that. All right, now we're gonna go over to the interior shop. Oh, get a couple of these bad boys and get ourselves a string. 
Did I get two seats or no? Hang on. I swear I had two brand new seats. Yeah, I did. Sell that. And sell that. Sell the steering wheel. Sell my glass. No, not that one. And sell off the two old license plates. We should be golden, ladies and gentlemen, as far as body parts. So let's go ahead and put her back. Go ahead and reassemble it. Ah, I don't have the windshield. Dang. License plate. Did I get a windshield? How did I not get a windshield? That's odd. Um, okay, got it now. I'm approaching that 1 million mark in my in my bank account. That's going to be cool. That's going to be a nice little milestone. Be my first million that I've made legitimately. Um, the mod does allow you to add add money to your account, but I have not. I have been straight up legit with that. All right. Uh, interior. Add the two seats. And now that we have the body, the undercarriage, and the interior complete, we are going to yank this engine out and do a full teardown on it. Let's see, what else can we get rid of here? Oh, we've got the what? windows in. Wait a minute, I do have the windows in. Um, really? 100%. 100%, okay. Aha. Okay. Making sure I've got everything right. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, good to go. Good to go. Okay, before I dump anything out of my inventory, sell that. Sell that. Uh, that's all 100%. That's all good to go. Let's pull the let's pull ourselves an engine, shall we? Now this will be interesting because I'm gonna have to tear this engine down and it is in pretty pretty bad shape. Alright, now that we've pulled it out. Um what do we need underneath here? We need oops. We need a brake servo battery. That needs to be replaced. That's gonna have to be replaced. I need a battery, a radiator A, and a okay. brake cylinder and battery. If I've got cylinder and battery. Uh ooh, brake servo. I got one. Um Onyx got a battery, cool. Server battery and uh, it's under engines and exhaust. You know what? I don't think I've got a radiator. I've got a housing. Oh, I got one. Right there. Alright, let's see if we can repair these pieces without screwing this up. Okay, seem like I need to buy. I need to find some more of those because I don't have them available to me. All right, and then we should be able to. Oh no, one do that. There go. Car parts up our shopping list. Can't see because we can't repair them. I wish a wiper ripped them. Got it. Okay, so that should take care of underneath. Turbo, coolant reservoir, radiator A, 
Washer. Battery. Uh, let's go charge the. Okay. Had one in reserve, so we're going to put that in there. Okay, I think we've got everything here. Do not see a fuse box. Might be pretty good with that. All right. So now, what we have, we have the engine. Time for a full teardown. Ooh. Yeah, this this isn't going to look good. This is not going to look good at all. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and what I want to do is back to the code runner. Let's dump our pieces off so I don't have them in my inventory, shall we? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tear this all down and try to repair everything I can. This is not looking good, bro. This is not looking good at all. Let be 19%. Okay, it's got both the clips. That's pretty good. 14%. That's a clip that needs to be replaced. Uh... Oof, man, this is this is rough. Spark plugs, like things like the spark plugs, they can't be repairable. So no matter what, they're the rock arms look like they're in good shape. That's cool. A bonus push rods. All these are going to have to be replaced. filter will need to be replaced. Of course, all your belts need to be replaced. We'll see what we get out of this. I'll be I'll be lucky if we get enough out of it. I have a feeling I'm going to have to go looking for some engine parts. Like that cover was well, 18%, so it might be in good shape. Chain is not repairable. That's not repairable. Let's take the camshaft out. Full filter is not repairable. Take the manifold off. What's the manifold looking like here? Yikes. Okay, 21%. So we're still doing pretty good. Four percent on the head, so that's decent. The manifolds look like they're almost brand new on this thing. We need an oil pan, so I can't. I'm gonna have to find an oil pan for this thing. So yeah, we're gonna be stuck. That's for sure. I can see that happening right now. Right? I think that's it. Alright. All you boys are connected down below, right? Yeah, looks like it. Alrighty. Let's rotate you. Side. Let's go ahead and take this all apart. Uh Nuts and bolts of this thing. I don't expect... Well, that one wasn't too bad. It looked like it was horrible. Might be able to get salvage a little more parts off here than I thought we were going to. 45% for that.
Yeah, not too bad. Considering it was exposed to the elements underneath there, right? It was exposed to the elements. So I would have thought, oh, I'm missing one right there. I'm going to have to find one. I might have one in the storeroom. I believe I do anyway. Rod caps in surprisingly good shape. Wow. Okay, pistons, rings, none of this stuff is going to work out. So all this stuff gets replaced. Okay. And the block. All right, now let's see what we can do over here in the repair area. Ooh, looks like only one clip got done. Ah, well, that takes care of that clip. Oh, well. I think I do have clips available, so that's not bad. Open. Whoa, that was close. Open with all I got, I can repair these parts. And I have to go back looking for them. I'm looking for a clip. I'm not, that's not a big deal. I can find a clip anywhere. I like the heads? Yeah. That would be painful to try to find. These I'm good with because if I don't repair them, I'm missing one of these bearings. I will have to go find one of those. Getting lucky. So far, so good. So I'm doing doing pretty good. Almost like slot machines in Vegas, man. Oof. Now that would have been a big oops if I had messed up that engine block, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's see. Would have. All right. Crankshaft is in, yes. Um, let's go ahead and put the bearing caps in. Yeah, I need another bearing cap. So before I go any farther, um, ah, um, engine. I need a bearing cap. Take another. I've got two B clips, so I'll go ahead and grab those while I'm in here. Uh, bearing cap. Get those cleaned up. Get them. Oh, see, that was an epic fail right there. But if it had enough on there that I could. Salvage it. All right. Uh, yep. All right. So what I'm going to need is let's go into the transmission area. That we need um, pressure plate and that clutch plate got repaired. Let's go ahead and build that in there. Right. Uh, fuel filter and con rods. So we go here. Shopping list. Fuel filter. Because you can't repair those. And then the this one with Conrad with the eight of you. And let's go rings. Rings for Conrad. Eight of you as well. There we go. The problem is, is I do not have a oil pan. I don't know if I have one in the... I don't think I have one in the storeroom. So that's going to be a bummer right there. Didn't even think about looking for an oil pan when I was scrapping cars. 
try to scrap cars and try to turn them around and sell them. At least make some of my money back. Um, that's... Did my camshaft work out? Ow. I need a new camshaft. Don't have that available. That is a repairable item, so I have to find that. So I'm screwed. I need another 383. All right. Well, let's put this as far together as I can, and then we will get out of here for the evening. How's that? Okay, I need an oil pan. Oil pan C. Um, I don't think I have it. an exhaust I mean seriously oh my god I got two of them I got three of them I'll take the worst one hey how about that <laughs> I'm very happy there we go that's a ticket now that's why you keep spare parts around Hey, we are the lower end is done. Let's go ahead and rotate this bad boy back. Uh, we need um, uh, let's see if there's I don't know if the camshaft C, but we definitely need the oil filter. Fuel filter. So let's go shopping. Let's go oil filter. New one of those because that's not going to be a repairable item. It's that's not a repairable item either. I don't think. Heads in. Cover up those pistons. Not get any gook down in there. Intake done. Carburetor is good to go. All right. Air filter base. Not repairable because it would have been one of those repairable things if it was. Let's go ahead and I don't think the. Yeah. So, distributor A. Do we have a distributor A back here? But now it's, it's a delay. Or would it be in electronics? Oh, we have a couple distributor A's, so that's good. Uh, we'll take the worst one. Oh. So, distributor A, no matter what, is not repairable. So, we need one. Uh. All right. Onyx. Shopping list distributor A. Did not know that. I thought we would able we would be able to repair that, but I guess not. Okay, that distributor's in. Rotor was 100%. The distributor cap, yes, is 100%. Yes, yes, yes. The B clips good to go. Uh, spark plugs, baby. Spark plugs and my exhaust manifolds are good to go. No showstoppers yet. That's impressive. I'm actually pretty happy with that, to be honest with you. Um, beat that. Let's Eight of you, please. Do you in? Yes, this is coming together nice. All right, so so much for that. The coil, coil B. Um, I need Oops. and matter of fact is oh I don't have the 
Oh, we got the we got the camshaft in there, right? Do we have a camshaft. Do we have a camshaft C? Uh, this is an exhaust camshaft. No, we do not. So that is our ticket right there. That is our. Uh, that's our Achilles heel right there. I think camshafts are repairable. Let's grab this V8 one. Um, just to see, just for giggles. Yeah, camshafts are repairable. So, yeah. Going to have to find one. Engines and exhaust. That's about uh, where's my camshaft at? Got it. Sort by name. Rocker arms are not. Rocker arms are not available either. Or not. Oh, oh wait a minute. Where am I at? Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for coil. Let's see if there's a coil in here. Do not have a coil. Yikes. But yeah, we've got a couple of things going on here that we may not be able to complete this engine with. One being the camshaft. That's pretty vital. Um... Can, however, go ahead and push rods. Sixteen of those. Let's take a look at the inventory I have here. Um, Sell that off. That off. We sell some stuff off here. Oh, that. Um, I need to clear out some of my stuff here. Let's go. Okay, we're in electronics. That can go. That can go. Let's go into engines. Lost. That shaft. Hmm. All right, let's keep pushing forward and get as much of this done as possible. Uh, I'm not sure if the coil is repairable or not. That's I don't have one to test. I think I may have one out in my hot rod. So that's going to be one I'm needed. Rocker arms are not repairable. Let's go ahead and get a couple of those. Okay, cover. Uh, cover A. Yikes. Um, what happened to my other cover? Okay, cover B. Oh, I didn't have one. Okay, engine exhaust. Ooh, yikes. Probably not. Oh, wait a minute. <clears throat> I am shocked to have one. Okay. Only one, though. Oof. One shot. There we go. Ugh. Oh. Alright, so, so far we've been pretty good. We've got the, the camshaft as our showstopper right now. Unfortunately. Um, actually... You have a camshaft? No, you do not. Damn. 
I thought maybe. I thought. Um, do you have a coil on you? No, no coil on you either. Um, let's take a quick look out here. Hot rod. Coil. Taking a coil. Oh, that's 100%. How did I do that? Okay. Well, the coil is 100% on that. Um, wouldn't have anything on there. Uh, are you 100%? Where's my coil? Coil, coil, coil. Looks like it's almost 100%. So let's take the engine cover off. Oh, I can't. It's it's not in that place I can do that with. Okay. So yeah, where these cars are parked at, that's the QOL mod. So I can't take anything off there. So I really can't do any testing. My God. <sighs> okay. I'm kind of I've kind of screwed and tattooed right here. Did I say screwed, glued, and tattooed? So much for that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm about the end here the wires I can go ahead and get um, I can get the base the base is not repairable so we'll go ahead and get the base go ahead and open the shop and let's get the base um, ignition wires oh I have to go to here ignition wires so that's done. Base is done. Air filter, I'm definitely going to have to get. Right? So that's a thing. Car parts. Filter. Boom. Then air cover. Ooh, 11%. I think I, think I had one actually. Uh, let's see here. Engine exhaust. Yeah, right there. Nice. Coil though. <sighs> All right. How much for that? Repair it. Oh, what? It's not repairable? They are not repairable. Okay. Thought maybe it was. So, what I need to do is buy a new one. Oh, well. Brandy new right there. All right, let's go ahead and shove some of these parts back in here. We're at engine and exhaust. Okay. Let's uh, dump that in there. Let's dump that in there. Let's dump the air filter in there. Uh, none of these pieces are new, so terrible, so I need to replace those. Go ahead and put the pressure plate in there. Crankshaft pulley, the flywheel. Rings, 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 piston. Uh, rocket arms are looking pretty good. I think I'm going to dump all my spark. Just trying to clean things up here a little bit and try to figure out where I need to go. All right. Um, you know what? I did stupid notes here. Okay. That sell Thanks. I can't do anything with this till I get the camshaft all right so let's go in here
Roadrunner. Uh, that piece. That piece. That. Okay. So I need to get walk away from here for a second. Um. Why is it? I don't have anything in my inventory. It's the Roadrunner inventory, right? Nope. Right, okay, so what do I have in my inventory? Why is nothing showing up in my inventory now? Something is screwy, for sure. Um, I need the arms. Here, my arms. I need that one, that one. I don't think I put either one of those things on yet. Nope. So let's. Uh, oh, that's why. There we go. That helps. Um, wondering what the deal was. Okay, so let's go to engines, exhaust. Let's dump out. And that. And belt chain and the pulley. All right. I'm just going to have to go so like my chain. Mm. Timing chain. Yeah, I wanted to pick that up. Um, I think it's about it. Dump these two arms in there. Dump the chain in there. All right, so I need to find a good coil. Go ahead and dump that out, that out. Okay, I'm gonna go through here slowly but surely and dump off all these pieces. And we're kind of stuck. I'm gonna have to go find myself a camshaft somewhere out of a 383. So again, we are kind of stuck. We are just going to have to deal with it as we come along. And I just got rid of a bunch of rods that I probably should have used. These are F rods. Oh, well. So our two main components right now that are holding us up is the camshaft overhead valve C and the ignition coil, which I don't know is repairable yet or not. So I can't I can't get a good feel on that. Um, so, yeah, that's it. All right. So we're going to have to kill it for right now. Thanks for hanging with me. Uh, we got close. We did get close, so man, I'm going to have to go out and uh, do some searching for those pieces. Uh, maybe next time we'll take the rod back out. We do have the truck. The truck is in parking. I don't have it out here. Um, but yeah, the rod is uh, up and running. And we did do some stuff, some nice stuff with it. So uh, I am hoping to get her back up and rolling soon. Um, get it kind of dressed up a little bit for the races. This bad boy, it will end up being a, uh, I think it was going to be a quick rebuild on that. But, uh, all right, well, thanks, everyone. Thanks for hanging with me. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, we tried to get this Roadrunner done. We just could not do it. We just kind of failed at the pieces. That's all right. That's the way it is. I'm going to have to go out to the junkyard and find some more. And find another engine and see what I can do. Might even be able to use it for the the charger over there. Who knows? Mm -hmm. um, so in the next time, you guys stay happy, stay healthy, keep customizing those cars. I'd love to see them over on the Facebook channel. And I also have a Discord channel. So check out the links down below. I'd love to see you over there. Until the next time, the first Quasar is saying good night, everyone, and I am out.